a very good morning to my dear students i am dr rajesh prithviraj today i'll be talking on a topic called transgenic plants and this topic has been given in paper 8 of final year bsc and this is one of the important topics in tissue culture part and it's a part of biotechnology so in this class let us know what these transgenic plants are and how these plants are developed what are its applications so first let us know the definition of transgenic plants so transgenic plants are referred as genetically modified plants in which genomic dna has been modified so we can modify the dna of a plant to get a desired character or a trait in a plant so this is also referred as genetically modified plant so why we need to develop these transgenic plants what are their applications in the field of agriculture so the first reason being to improve the quality of the plant to produce a desired characteristics so the second reason is to transfer genes from unrelated plant species which is not possible traditionally but it's possible and it's much faster and easier through biotechnological techniques and this technology is useful for the isolation of the genes from many plant species so these are some of the reasons that made us to develop the transgenic plants now what are the steps in this transgenic technology how to start with how to go about so we first we have to identify the useful gene it's called it's also called as goi gene of interest so we need to locate the desirable genes in wild species or in unrelated plant species or in any other microorganism for that matter so this is generally done in the research laboratories so first re- step in developing transgenic plant is to identify a useful gene then we need to insert it into the the recipient plant or we can also call that, that as a donor the gene of interest is isolated from the donor source and cloned in the laboratory so this is again a laboratory a technique that is used right so the next step in developing transgenic plant is to insert the gene into a target plant so the cloned genes or the multiple copies of the gene of our interest are inserted into a host plant or the recipient plant so there are two methods generally uh, that are used for the insertion it can be agrobacterium mediated uh, gene transfer or gene gun bombardment so this is again a laboratory technique and another important step in developing transgenic plant is 
to identify the transgenic cells when once these genes are inserted we need to identify the transformed cell by selectable markers and this regenerated plant is compared with a parent variety and this should look like a parent variety so next we need to transfer them to small scale field trials so the transgenic plants that are evaluated for their performance then these plants are generally tested in small field small fields so the seeds of transgenic plants like cotton soya bean these are generally tested in the laboratories and these tests are also conducted with animals and then after the small scale scale field trials we have to grow them in large field trials these transgenic plants are then multiplied in larger quantities in larger fields and superior genotypes are then released for their performance so this is this chart speaks about the characters that have been improved in certain crop species if you look into the chart you will come to know the crops their characters that has been improved and you can find these crops showing resistance in the insect they show resistance to disease diseases they show resistance to herbicides they have high quality and they also show some antibiotic uh, resistance to some abiotic sorry so they show resistance to abiotic stresses now the crops being cotton maize tobacco tomato which show resistance against insects like helicoverpa arbizera some bud worms from food borers so these genetically modified crops they show insect resistance and crops like tobacco potato and tomato they show resistance to diseases like brown spots seedling blight potato leaf root tomato mosaic virus and seedling blights and some crops like cotton soya bean wheat potato tomato they also show resistance to herbicides and you can increase the quality of these plants particularly in potato tobacco you can increase the protein content the starch content etc and some crops like tomato and tobacco they also show abiotic stresses now this is another chart showing um, some some of the achievements in the transgenic technology uh, particularly the cotton maize wheat tobacco potato and tomato soybeans rape seeds lin seeds alfalfa and petunia they show some improvement over the normal plants so these are the the genes that have been transferred from various organisms now coming to the applications so uh, so far you have understood what a transgenic plant is and what are the reasons for its development and how these are developed now another important concept of uh, transgenic plant will be the applications so why this has to be uh, developed in agriculture particularly in agricultural field this has a uh, major role in the form of its nutritional quality so we can increase the nutritional quality of the crops by these transgenic plants so these plants are as i already told you 
are resistant to insects, diseases, pesticides, etc. And they are also resistant to salty areas. They are salt tolerant plants. And they are also very useful in biopharmaceuticals. So the modified plants are also used to produce medicines and proteins. Now, coming to few ex important examples where this has been done, I have already told you some of the crops have been modified genetically and taking one of the examples like golden rice. So the golden rice has been developed mainly to enhance the carotin and iron content. So this has been developed by transferring genes, two genes particularly, from daffodil and one from the bacterial species. So golden rice, it is benefiting millions of people in the world and those who suffer from health problems caused by vitamin A deficiency. So now we can see how this golden rice is different from the normal rice. You can see the golden color of the rice in this picture. So you can see how this golden rice is different from the normal rice. So now another important plant that has been developed is potato where the protein uh, content has been enhanced. So potato uh, has shown more protein content in it. So this transgenic potato contains about 33% of the higher protein than the non-transgenic potato. So in that way we can increase the protein content of a crop. So this is also referred as protein rich potato. So now you can see the protein rich potato. So the percentage of protein is more here than the normal potato plant. Now another crop that has been developed with the transgenic technique is tobacco. So nicotine free tobacco has been developed so genetically engineered nicotine free tobacco does not synthesize nicotine in their leaf it will lead to introduction of nicotine free cigarettes so we can make cigarettes free of nicotine in that way the smoking will not cause any harm in the smokers and it is one of the best applications in the field of biotechnology. So here is how the field of tobacco looks and these are some of the aspects of uh, transgenic plants. So I have taken only a small percentage of this technique because it's a vast subject. So I have uh, taken a minimum time to cover up certain aspects of transgenic plants. I hope this video will help you in terms of your examination. So from the examination point of view, so these are certain uh, aspects of this topic.